Hi everybody! I just got out the shower um, and I wanted to show you what my hair looks like right after I get out the shower. And so, here we go. When I'm in like Jamaica, you know, with family or whatever, it's so humid there that I generally will just leave it like this um and go out the house i'll just let it air dry um but i usually like to stretch my locks because i, I do get a lot of shrinkage um one thing i love about this is that when i was a loose natural 4c who um i never I, it was hard for me to to have like curl definition but with my locks this small and them each having their own individual lock um I don't have a problem with curl definition anymore. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as you can see, I do not wash my hair in sections. I washed my hair in sections once when I, once after um, I locked my hair. Since then, I haven't, and I've always used conditioner, like I said before. Uh, with 4C hair, I don't know about you all, but conditioners. I'm sorry, shampoos dry my hair out, like, big time. And I don't like that. Um, <laughs> so I've always used conditioner because I like my hair to feel, you know, soft and moisturized. I don't like it to feel crunchy. And so my hair has never felt crunchy. I also think that um, conditioner, like, this fragrance smells in, stays in your hair. And so I like, like, like being able to smell my hair and it smells all good and stuff. So... I've always used conditioner. Anyhow, I'm gonna come back a little later. I'm probably, I think I'm just gonna put my hair in um, two strand twists to let my hair air dry. Oh, but maybe you wanna see the difference between it now. It'll shrink even more if I just air dry it. It'll come up, it'll, it'll shrink to just to about my shoulders, a little bit above my shoulders. Once it's all dry, if I just let it air dry naturally. Um, and you can already kind of see some of the shrinkage, but I'll just, I'll just show you. So, so there's shrinkage, but like I said, I don't mind it. I want my hair to mimic loose natural hair, so it's not a problem. Um, here are my edges. La 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 la. Okay. All right. So that's it for now. Um, I'm also gonna count my locks for you. I have combined some locks and gained some new locks in my kitchen area back here. <laughs> so it's time for me to do another um, lock count. So I will do that once my hair is dried and stretched. I'll see you soon. Hello everybody, it's the next day and my hair is still mostly damp. Um, I had it in twists, loose twists to dry. So. All my hair was in twists about this size to dry and it's still a little damp so I have to go out and it is like really cold um, outside and I don't like going out with, with damp hair so I'm just going to use the tension method and, um, and blow dry this so it's a little less um, wet before I go outside. Usually if I just want my hair completely air dried, like if I'm doing a braid out or a twist out, um, I, I'll, I'll need to let it air dry for like, like a full, full day. And I washed my hair in the afternoon yesterday. So um, I've got my blow dryer. I'm putting it on low because I don't really need that much heat. And I'm just gonna use tension to try to remove some of the heat, some of the um, dampness. And then I'm gonna let you all know how many locks I have. I really need to do my eyebrows. I will. So I'm just gonna do this. until my locks are dry. Like I said before, I treat my hair like loose natural hair. It acts like loose natural hair. You can see it, it the shrinkage from it, from um, 
from the from the from washing it yesterday. And you can also see right when I finish um, when I do twist outs and braids, you can see it's a little bit fuzzy, just a little. I'll just go in and retwist those little spots that have come out of the lock. And then what I'm going to do just to give it some uh, conformity is I'm just going to run my uh, flat iron over it just on light, you know, on the not, not super hot, just enough to just give it some swing like, like this. And then I'll, um, I'll give you a close up too. So it's still not, it's still not dry. Anyhow, that feels about right. So, so now I'm just gonna lightly run um, the flat iron over my hair on a light heat. Like I told you all before, do what makes sense for your hair. If you all have issues with heat, with other things, don't put it in your hair. You know, the real point of this all is that my hair is completely customized to the way that it grows, to what I want it to look like. And the same thing is not going to work for everybody. So, you know, take what works and leave what doesn't. <laughs> this works for my hair. I have very thick densely packed um 4c hair um and so certain things will work for me that won't work for other people even even who might have a similar hair type so i'm just gonna go through and do this and then i'll come right back and um when it's all finished and you can just see the difference i didn't go through it a hundred thousand times i just ran through it once and you know there's let me see i can't see and so there's a difference. You can see the shrinkage. Um, but really, I didn't use too much heat. Just very simple. So I'm going to come right back and let you know how many locks I have um, after I uh, just finish getting this part a little less damp and, and just uh, running, running things through. I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished. And I just finished um, retwisting my edges. You can see these are just twists. Like I mentioned before, I um I do not I did not lock my edges. I just twisted them. So after I wash, they usually unravel. So I just went in ahead and retwisted my edges. Um and now oh I also used a little bit of jojoba oil um on my scalp because um because I used a different shampoo and it's, it worked really great, but it definitely dried my scalp out some. So I usually don't have that problem because I use more nutrition, like, sorry, more moisturized based um, shampoos. But I am not at my place right now. And so I don't, I don't, I don't have my shampoo. Um... Okay, I am going to add a little bit of jojoba oil to, to my hair. I don't use a lot of it, um, and I only use it usually right after I wash my hair. My hair doesn't need anything, and it's probably the only thing that I use in my hair. So I just squirted some into my hair. I'm just going to rub it together and all over my hand. I'm just going to run it through. And for the whole reason you all came here today, how many locks do I have in my hair? Can you guess? I'm gonna let y'all guess first. How many locks do you think I have in my hair? Well, I give you guys close-ups to see if you're right. How many locks do I have in my hair? Let's see if I can grab a couple parts in here. How many locks? does she have in her hair? Oh, that was a lint, let me get it out. Was it? Do I have 
250 locks. Do I have 350 locks? 400. 500. Your time for guessing is up. I have just over 700 locks. And I retie all by myself. And I enjoy it actually. <laughs> all right, I hope you enjoyed this wash day video. I'm getting ready to go to the store and um, I'll follow back up with uh, a grid video and I also want to do um, the science of 4C hair. I want to go through uh, I want to go through that with everybody. Uh, it's really interesting. We have beautiful hair and if you all are interested right now in some of the things I'm going to talk about, go ahead and start researching like um, coils and in nature and coils in technology and see what they're used for if you want a little hint about what we're going to be talking about and um and i'll be back and my little coils my beautiful curls they just want to say hi and bye and thank you for tuning in to the four seer today i will be back again very soon